A warm welcome to everyone. I'm Laura Cabo from Walt Disney Imagineering. Today is a very special day as we take you on a journey through the stories and spaces of our beautiful Disney Wish, the fifth ship to join the Disney Cruise Line fleet. For years, our teams have worked hard to make this wish come true, and there's still much work to do before the Disney Wish sets sail in the summer of 2022. But for now, we're lifting the curtain to unveil this elegant ship full of enchantment. So sit back and prepare to be amazed as we present the new worlds and experiences that await you. From dining in the kingdom of Arendelle to riding through the animated world of Mickey Mouse and to even finding yourself in a galaxy far, far away. So let's begin our story. Once upon a Disney wish, Welcome aboard the Disney Wish. I'm Ashley Long, your cruise director, along with Captain Minnie. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Isn't she beautiful? And hello, everyone. I am so happy you could all join us today. We have so many surprises planned during today's virtual tour as we reveal some of the magic that you can experience when the Disney Wish launches in the summer of 2022, with bookings opening May 2021. As you're about to see, the Disney Wish will have everything families love about a Disney cruise, combined with new and incredible experiences. Before we move on, I want to mention that promoting health and safety for all involved in this show is a top priority. So to bring this magic to you today, we're following special protocols, including maintaining physical distancing and having proper safety equipment on set. And now, let's begin our tour. Are you ready, Captain Minnie? Of course, I can't wait. <laughs> Our virtual voyage begins right here in the Grand Hall. This fairy tale inspired three-story atrium will be Disney Cruise Line's Castle on the Seas. I feel like Cinderella walking into the Royal Ball. I just need some glass slippers. Oh, it's perfect. So many wonderful memories will be made here. And my favorite thing about the Disney Wish is the enchantment you'll find everywhere you turn. From the giant wishing star that will adorn our chandelier to the beautiful statue of Cinderella. The Grand Hall will serve as the gateway to all of the magic that awaits you on the Disney Wish. And I can't wait to sail happily ever after. Neither can I. We have so much to share with you today. To get things started, it is my pleasure to introduce the Chief Executive Officer of the Walt Disney Company, Bob Chapek. Hello, everyone. We're so excited to finally be introducing you to the Disney Wish. As Ashley mentioned, this ship has everything that fans and families love about a Disney cruise. It's a great example of the Disney difference that sets us apart from everyone else, guaranteeing guests of all ages a phenomenal, one-of-a-kind experience. While there's still more work to be done before she's ready to set sail on her maiden voyage in summer of 2022, as you'll see for yourself, the Disney Cruise Line team and our extraordinary Imagineers have absolutely outdone themselves. The Disney Wish is truly magical. Storytelling is at the heart and soul of everything we do at the Walt Disney Company, and the Disney Wish is no exception. Guests will be able to explore even more immersive worlds based on beloved Disney stories and characters, including Frozen, Star Wars, Marvel superheroes, and of course, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, and their pals. And Cinderella, the strong quintessential Disney princess who made us believe that dreams and wishes can come true will greet guests entering the Grand Hall. Making wishes come true is a big part of Disney's DNA. And on this World Wish Day, I want to say how truly proud we are to partner 
with amazing organizations like Make-A-Wish. For 40 plus years, Disney and Make-A-Wish have teamed up, granting more than 145,000 life-changing wishes and unforgettable experiences for children facing critical illnesses. When we join forces, we really can make magic happen and be a source of hope and optimism for others. And in honor of World Wish Day, I am pleased to announce that the Walt Disney Company will be donating $1 million to Make-A-Wish. And we look forward to creating even more special moments for deserving Wish kids and their families in the years to come. All of us at Disney are so excited about the Disney Wish and all that it represents. And now I'll turn it over to Josh Tomorrow, Chairman of Disney's Parks, Experiences and Products. And he'll tell you more about this amazing ship. Thanks, Bob. Hi, everyone. Wow, there's so much great news we're sharing with you today. You're going to be absolutely inspired by what you see and by the endless possibilities our future holds at Disney Cruise Line and beyond. At Disney, we're always dreaming and planning for new ways to delight our guests and fans. And with our parks reopening around the world, there's so much to celebrate. At Walt Disney World in Florida, we're getting ready for our 50th anniversary celebration, kicking off on October 1st. And we're in the midst of an incredible multi-year transformation at Epcot. And of course, at Disneyland Resort in California, we're looking forward to our reopening. And that comes with another huge milestone the opening of Avengers Campus at Disney California Adventure in June. Our teams have been working so hard and we can't wait for you to experience it. We couldn't be happier to welcome our guests back to the happiest place on earth. As you can see, we have incredible momentum and Disney Cruise Line is a vital part of our comeback. And I'm so pleased to tell you that we're heading in the right direction. This summer, we plan to sail from the United Kingdom on the Disney Magic with shorter voyages just for UK residents. Our guests will stay on board, but through our characters, stories, and a little bit of magic, we'll take them to places like Arendelle, Wakanda, Avengers Headquarters, and even Andy's room. I'm confident that before long, we'll welcome guests back on board all of our ships. Our teams have been working so hard to get ready for that day. And speaking of our teams, I want to acknowledge our Disney Cruise Line cast and crew. Throughout this last year, they've been extraordinarily dedicated, resilient, and optimistic. If you want to know the secret of our success at Disney Cruise Line, it's our crew members. They create an experience that you can only find on a Disney cruise, and they've helped to make us the leader in family cruising. They'll be so thrilled to welcome our guests back on board. Now, Let's talk about our new ship for a moment. We're super excited to see the Disney Wish taking shape in Meyer Wharf Shipyard in Poppenburg, Germany. Our ships are unlike any others at sea, and the Disney Wish is going to be an amazing addition to our fleet. In fact, we've already celebrated some important construction milestones. During our keel laying ceremony on April 8th, we lowered the first section of the ship into the building dock. And of course, it's a maritime tradition to put a coin under the keel for good fortune. So we had a very special one made just for this occasion. It was a pretty great day for our team. And you may have heard that Captain Minnie Mouse will have a prominent place on the Disney Wish. Her likeness will be on the bow, leading Disney Cruise Line into the future. And because the Walt Disney Company has such a strong commitment to the environment, the Disney Wish, and all the new ships we're building, will run on liquefied natural gas, one of the cleanest burning fuels in the marine industry. It's an important action we're taking today for a better tomorrow. These early milestones are just the beginning, and we can't wait for the Disney Wish to join the Disney Cruise Line family to deliver on our legacy of extraordinary service and an experience that's unmatched in the cruise industry. So I've talked about our recent milestones and where we are today, and now I'll get to the moment that you've all been waiting for. It's time for a look at what's coming when the Disney Wish sets sail in the summer of 2022. I know you'll be as excited as we are. For that, I'll turn it back over to Cruise Director Ashley and Captain Minnie. Take it away. Thank you, Josh. I love hearing about how our Disney Wish is quickly becoming a reality. And I know our audience does too. Oh yes, there's nothing more magical than a wish coming true. I 100% agree. And now let's reveal the rest of this fantastical new world at sea. 
And for that, we'll need to unlock the enchantment of the Disney Wish. Okay. How do we do that exactly? I know just who to ask. <laughs> She's a very dear friend. And I wish she were here. <laughs> you wished? Hello, Fairy Godmother. Oh, hello, dears. Well, well, it seems I've popped in just in time. Now, to unlock an enchantment, you must believe in the power of a wish. Oh, we believe. <laughs> then we'll wish together. Ready? All right. Now, here we go. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> Wherever could my wand be? Oh, it sometimes wanders off. <laughs> Here it is. All right. Okay. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. The magic words. <laughs> Sabakadoodle, menchikaboodle, bibbity bobbity boo. Put them together, and what have you got? Bibbity bobbity boo. Sabakadoodle, menchikaboodle, bibbity bobbity boo. It'll do magic, believe it or not. Bibbity bobbity boo. Now, Salagadula means a menchikabula roo. But the thingamabob that does the job is bibbity bobbity boo. Salagadula, menchikabula, bibbity bobbity boo. Put them together, and what have you got? Bibbity bobbity, bibbity bobbity, bibbity bobbity boo. Bibbity bobbity boo. boo. Now, to make our wish complete, repeat with me. Wishes do come true. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Wishes, Wishes do, do come, come true. Oh, goodness me. It's getting late. Now, run along. You mustn't wait. For though our wish was wish with power, you will have but half an hour. Now have a wonderful time. See the ship and play. Now off you go. Let's get you on your way. Thank you, Fairy Godmother. That was magical and only slightly disorienting. <laughs> Welcome to the upper deck of the Disney Wish. I am so excited to be joined by Disney Imagineer Danny Handke and the one and only Captain Mickey. Hi, Ashley and Danny. <laughs> and welcome aboard, pals. Hey, everybody. I am so thrilled to be here. Captain Mickey and I have some big news to share. We know how much our guests love hanging out on the upper deck of our ships. So on the Disney Wish, we're doing something we've never done before. If you look just above us, you'll actually see it. That is the first ever Disney attraction at sea. It's called the Aqua Mouse. Wow, that sounds splashtacular. Yeah, and I'm totally stoked about it. Just like we do in our theme parks, we created a rich storyline for the Aqua Mouse, complete with show scenes, lighting, special effects, and even a few surprises. You see, a ride on the Aqua Mouse will take you into the animated world of the Mickey Mouse shorts with an original story called Scuba Scramble. Mickey and Minnie have started their very own excursion company and they want you to be among their first guests on an exciting adventure to Mermaid Lagoon. Along the way, you'll encounter lots of sea creatures and some familiar Disney characters. I forgot to mention their excursion company is called Port Misadventures. So what could go wrong? <clears throat> And the thrill of the attraction is just as awesome. You'll take off on a wild water ride that spans 760 feet around the upper deck. And when you're not in the middle of all the excitement, you can chill and take in the stunning views of the ocean as you travel over the Disney Wish. Oh boy, <laughs> I can't wait. Same here. Summer of 2022 couldn't get here soon enough. You know, we are really taking fun in the sun to the next level on the Disney Wish. In fact, this entire area is a Mickey and Friends themed district designed for families. It will have casual dining and plenty of space for everyone to relax and hang out together. Sign me up. I can't wait to see the look on our guests' faces when they come up here for the first time. And I know there's even more. Yeah, in true Disney Cruise Line fashion, we've also created a dedicated space just for adults, as well as an all new area for families with little ones, themed to one of my favorite films, Toy Story. As a dad myself, I can't wait to bring my daughter so she can splash, swim and slide with Buzz, Woody and the gang. To Swimfinity and beyond.
fun. Exactly. They're going to love it. It's going to be so much fun. Thank you both for showing us all the upper. Dearest, I, I don't mean to rush you or give you a scare, but the tour needs to continue, so we must get you downstairs. Uh, bye, Ashley. See you real soon. <laughs> okay, still getting used to this, but it's definitely faster than taking the stairs. Now, one of the great things about a Disney cruise is all the spaces designed just for kids. And they're so amazing that all of us <clears throat> kids at heart love them too. I'm now joined by Disney Imagineer Sachi Hanke to learn more about the kids clubs aboard the Disney Wish. That's right. From our littlest cruisers to our tweens and teens, we have something for all ages. But today, we really want to tell you more about our completely reimagined Disney's Oceaneer Club. Okay, so this is really cool and something we haven't seen on a Disney cruise ship before. Is this a secret entrance to the club? It is. Kids will be able to slide right into the fun directly from the Grand Hall. And just a quick note for all you less adventurous parents out there, we will also have a special entrance just for adults called a door. Exactly. And regardless of how you enter, this club will be non-stop fun. Kids ages 3 through 12 will explore the creative world of Walt Disney Imagineering, become part of their favorite fairy tale stories, and even train alongside Marvel superheroes. Superheroes? I know all our Marvel fans are going to want to hear more, including me. <laughs> Definitely. We're thrilled that the Disney Cruise Line favorite, Marvel Superhero Academy will be on the Disney Wish. In this high-tech Avengers headquarters, young recruits will train alongside some of their favorite superheroes. So cool. I've always wanted to learn how to do that Spider-Man thing. You know, how you sling webs and all that. Well, I can't give you all the details on what our heroes in training will learn, but I can confirm that Spider-Man will be making an appearance. Yes! as well as superheroes like Black Panther, Ant-Man, and the Wasp. And kids will choose their own hero suit and put it to the test. Let's take a sneak peek. Okay, now that is going to be epic. And that's just one of the areas kids will discover at Disney's Oceaneer Club. Have you ever wanted to channel your inner artist with Rapunzel, read stories with Belle, or perfect your icy powers with Elsa? Well, now you can, or at least kids can. At Fairy Tale Hall, young princes and princesses will find themselves in Rapunzel's art studio, Belle's library, and Anna and Elsa's summer house. Talk about the best day ever. Now, I also heard you mention Imagineering. Will kids actually get to see what it's like to have your job? Well, yes. As Disney Imagineers, we create, design, and build Disney theme parks, resorts, and cruise ships like this one. In our first of its kind interactive lab, kids will get an inside look at what it takes to make the magic. They'll even be able to design their own roller coaster and virtually ride it. Oh, I've always wanted to be an Imagineer. Can you maybe teach me some tricks the trade? Sorry, Ashley. The secrets behind the magic are reserved just for kids. But that doesn't stop me from making a little magic right now. I don't think I understand. Whoa, did I miss the memo on magical powers? As a cruise director, I actually get to be part of the planning for the amazing entertainment that we're bringing to the Disney Wish. And that's what we're gonna talk about right now. So to help me present all that we have in store, I've invited my friend and colleague, Carlos Jimenez. Thanks, Ashley. I think we can both agree that it wouldn't be a Disney cruise without our Broadway style musicals, characters, fireworks at sea, and so much more. When it comes down to it, storytelling is in our Disney DNA and we love to put on a show that everyone in the family will enjoy. And on the Disney Wish, we have created entertainment environments 
that will immerse you in Disney stories like never before. Let's start with one you're very familiar with, Ashley, the Walt Disney Theater. I love the look of it, and unique to the Disney wish, the design of the theater is inspired by a magical forest. It's the perfect setting for our musical productions, don't you think? Absolutely. It is gorgeous. So let's talk about the shows that we'll see in this space. Well, we wouldn't be doing a service to the very namesake of the Disney Wish if one of our shows didn't include the most famous wish granter himself, the genie of the lamp. <laughs> That's right. A Disney Cruise Line favorite, Disney's Aladdin, a musical spectacular is being reimagined and will be part of the amazing lineup of shows that will play in the theater nightly. And we have two original shows that are currently being developed for the Disney Wish. The first but one- But we can't share those with you just yet. Stay tuned as we reveal those details at a later date. But now, let's continue with this whole new world of entertainment. <laughs> I see what you did there, Ashley. On the Disney Wish, we will be rolling out three brand new entertainment concepts for Disney cruising. These will be venues that offer even more ways for families to play together and connect. And we are currently standing in one of those spaces now. The Grand Hall Stage, a new concept for a traditional atrium, will be located at the very heart of the ship. Here, guests will gather for fun theatrical surprises throughout the day. Then there's Luna, where the entertainment will evolve from day to night. And Hero Zone, a futuristic arena where imagination will meet active play. We'll share more about these first of their kind venues later this year. Pardon the interruption, my dears, uh, but time is running short, I fear. It's time to move across the Grand Hall, for another guest has more to share with us all. Really? That wasn't very far from where I was. Disney Cruise Line is famous for creating the ultimate vacations for families, but people are often surprised to learn just how much fun and relaxation adults can have on board. To tell us more about what's in store for our big kids, please welcome Disney Imagineer Pam Rollins. Thanks, Ashley. When we started designing the Disney Wish, we wanted to curate an exceptional collection of experiences for adults with a uniquely Disney twist. The result will be a brand new class of storied spaces. I know our guests will like the sound of that. I hear one of these experiences will be simply out of this world. Ah, you mean out of this galaxy. Star Wars fans, this is the place you've been looking for. Get ready to planet hop through the galaxy at Star Wars Hyperspace Lounge. When you enter this first of a kind lounge, you will board a luxury spaceship where you will sip otherworldly concoctions and enjoy galaxy-wide panoramic views of the worlds of Tatooine, Mustafar, Batu, and more. And I know just what'll happen if it takes a wrong turn. What's that? We'll take an R2 detour. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Well, speaking of detour, let's switch gears. Just like with Hyperspace Lounge, we are drawing inspiration from our favorite Disney stories to create sophisticated spaces just for adults. In fact, we're developing a suite of adult exclusive dining experiences inspired by Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Ah, oh, a tale as old as time, one of my favorites. Our culinary cabaret begins in a chic lounge called The Rose, which will be the perfect setting for a before or after dinner cocktail. Next stop is a reimagined classic Palo Steakhouse featuring decor inspired by Cogsworth. This restaurant will combine the sophistication of authentic Italian dining with the refinement of a modern steakhouse. This is making me hungry, but I love it. Please continue. Last but not least is on Chante, our most elegant dining experience inspired by everyone's favorite candlestick, Lumiere. On Chante will feature a menu crafted by the three Michelin starred chef, Arnaud Lallemont. The food will be as spectacular as the setting. Sounds like an amazing night out. And after such a delicious meal, I'm gonna need a full day to relax. <laughs> no worries, we've got you covered with the perfect formula for rest and relaxation. You can start by escaping to the Quiet Cove, an adult exclusive retreat on the upper deck with an infinity pool, 
or head to Census Spa for rejuvenating treatment and the ultimate in relaxation. Oh, my dear, sorry, but I really do need to let you know it's getting late and we must continue with the show. Didn't Cinderella travel in a carriage? I need to talk to Fairy Godmother about this. We've already had a chance to see many of the venues and experiences that will make the Disney Wish so memorable. But now, let's talk about the place where you and your family will truly make yourselves at home, your stateroom. Here to tell us more is Shelley Gold Widiak. Thank you, Ashley. On the Disney Wish, our storybook-inspired staterooms have an enchanted new look that is brought to life through beautiful custom artwork and elegant details inspired by some of our favourite Disney characters and stories, such as Cinderella. After all, a dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. What I personally love is their luxurious feel. Most of our staterooms offer amazing ocean views and we have designed them all with plenty of storage options, upscale amenities and great features for families. Just imagine waking up to the sight of the sea every morning or even sipping coffee from your own spacious veranda while your family stretches out and relaxes in the comfort of their home away from home. Now that is a vacation. We're even expanding our concierge experience with more premium accommodations than ever before. And when it comes to sweets, well, let's just say we're taking them to the next level, literally. The Disney Wish will feature our first ever two-story royal suites. These are gorgeous rooms that will feature a grand spiral staircase, stained glass artwork, and of course, stunning views of the ocean. Now pardon me, my dear, I, I don't mean to rush you. <laughs> and we'd love to hear more, but we must get our guests out here to the Grand Hall main floor. If you've ever sailed with Disney, you know how the cuisine plays a starring role in your cruise vacation. And let's not forget about our dining venues. Every single one of them tells a story. Please welcome my good friend and master storyteller, Denise Case, to share more about the new family restaurants coming to the Disney Wish. Well, being that it's almost my lunchtime, I'm definitely ready to talk about food. Seriously though, we are beyond excited to introduce three entirely new restaurant concepts that are sure to delight everyone in the family. Where do you want to start? Arendelle, Hollywood, yes, or- Arendelle. Frozen is my favorite. <laughs> well, do you want to have your mind blown? This is unlike any dining experience you've seen on our ships before. And it's by far the coolest thing on the Disney Wish. Let's take a look. Okay, that gave me chills. Seeing your favorite characters from Frozen perform while you eat, I couldn't think of a better combination. Same here, Ashley. Our creative team is so excited about introducing the world's first Frozen-themed theatrical dining experience on the Disney Wish. Elsa, Anna, Kristoff, and Olaf will all take center stage to entertain our guests during a one-of-a-kind musical celebration. Oh, and it looks like one of the stars of the show is here now. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Ooh. He's good. He's good. He's good. All right. Hi. I think that's going to leave a mark. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, yeah. speaking of dining, mm -hmm. um, what type of cuisine can our guests expect? Well, frozen foods, of course. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. The menu will feature world-class cuisine infused with Nordic influences. Okay, so we're leaving the Kingdom of Arendelle and now going to Hollywood? Mm-hmm. And we're going back in time. 
Walt created stories that have enchanted audiences around the world, and his legacy has inspired our new restaurant, 1923, named after the very year that the Walt Disney Studios was founded. It will truly be like traveling back to Hollywood when it was at its most glamorous. Definitely. We have designed a dining experience that combines classic Hollywood elegance with a menu inspired by California's fusion of cultural flavors. I'm sure Walt Disney himself would be proud. <laughs> Before we move on, I wanted to tell you that there is actually another brand new dining experience coming to the Disney Wish. It's top secret, and I can only share a little of it today. I promised I would keep the details confidential until we get clearance. Don't worry, it'll be just between the two of us. Earlier, I heard you say that you were a little jealous that only the kids could visit the Marvel Superhero Academy. Well, that's not the only place you'll see superheroes on board. Let's talk about one of our most ambitious dining experiences ever, Worlds of Marvel. You'll be transported to an Avengers technology showcase well, you'll play an interactive role in an action-packed mission that unfolds around you. This will be the first ever Marvel Cinematic Dining Adventure, and trust me, it's one epic dinner that you'll never forget. But that's all that I can say for now. Can't you share just a little more, please? Mmm, well, okay. So the best part is when you'll never believe it. My dears, I've come to share one final spell. No, not yet. We were going to find something out really cool. It's time to share a fond farewell. Just one more minute. Two minutes. Now off you go. You shan't be late, for now it's time to celebrate. <laughs> I'm not going to get any more time here, am I? I guess we'll just have to wait to find out more about Worlds of Marvel. But I have a feeling we'll be hearing about this and much more soon. What an amazing first look at the Disney Wish. As we prepare for the arrival of this incredible ship, we start a new chapter for Disney Cruise Line. But from the very beginning of our company's story, we've always believed in the power of wishes. To help us celebrate this timeless theme, we have a surprise guest joining us. Oh my, I love celebrations and surprises. So do I. Allow me to introduce an accomplished actress who began her Broadway career as Nala in The Lion King and has since starred in such award-winning shows as Hamilton and Motown the Musical. Please help us welcome Cindy Winters. Who you are, anything your heart desires will come to you. If your heart is in your dream, no request is too extreme. When you wish upon a star as dream. Cindy, that was just beautiful. Thank you for being a part of our celebration today. Thank you so much for having me. It's always wonderful to see all of my Disney friends and make new ones. And we are so thrilled that you could join us today for Once Upon a Disney Wish. 
But this is just the beginning of our story. Stay tuned to the Disney Parks blog to find out more about the exciting new experiences premiering in summer 2022. From Captain Minnie, Captain Mickey, Fairy Godmother, and the cast and crew of Disney Cruise Line, thank you. Fairy Godmother, do your thing. Why, of course, my dear, <gasps> wishes do come true.